don't know if I'm creeped out by him or I just think he's the most precious thing ever. But look at his little hands. And he's like actually the proper size and I just want to cuddle him. He's so cute. Look at the little face. So I'm going to have to film a haul when I get back home. But I'm trying the virtual queue for Market Co. I think the capacity lowered due to the face mask line. This is the uh, line to get face masks and it goes wrap around behind Market Co. I guess we can pop into the Christmas shop. This music is played on Main Street and it makes me miss Main Street. It is so humid in there you can kind of see my glasses are all fogged up. It was so humid out here and it's so cold inside the Christmas shop. Not that I'm complaining. I just got my text message um, to go to Market Co. I don't know if it was 30 minutes exactly. They said it was going to be 30 minutes. Um, but like I popped into the pin store, went to the bathroom, went in the Christmas store. It's not a bad time, not a bad wait. I think there's a lot of extra people here because I have noticed there's more people here because cast members get a 50% discount for the end of the month, until the end of the month. And then of course, we're slowly getting more and more guests. So it is interesting to see a more full springs. I mean, it's still good though. There's still a lot of spaces where there's not a whole lot of people. I'm upset. I wanted to get the paintbrush silverware set and it looks like they're sold out of it everywhere. This is what I get for waiting. Okay, I got some venting to do. This place is a mess. Trendy, half of Trendy, which Trendy is only so big to begin with, has basically been taken over by face covering Mask Central. And I don't know why they aren't continuing to use the photo pass center area since that's not being used for literally anything. And what they're doing is they're having them like pick which one they want in Trendy and then they are like funneled into the rest of Market Co to use one of the registers there to just like randomly find a register. But because of that, they've blocked off Trendy and several other areas and it's so confusing to like find your way around to the different sections. So like unless you absolutely have to get something in Market Co, just avoid it. Go elsewhere. <laughs> Cause like I waited, I mean I'm not complaining about the wait, but like I basically, I just wanted to check out what merchandise they had and it was just like such a nightmare just to find my way around and I was just like, just don't do it, don't do it. So I didn't vlog it, but I'll put a picture here. Basin has these gorgeous mermaid bath bombs that smelled so good and I wanted to get them but they were so pretty and I would like probably never use them but they also had some really pretty like mini bow ones that were like all super sparkly um for all those mermaid mini fans out there go check those out I stopped by Sephora which was actually quite an interesting experience I actually had something I had to get because I was running out of it and I'll show you what I did but I really like how they like told you all the safety measures. They like didn't want you to grab anything from the shelves. They got it for you. They were like involved in what you were doing, but not like to the point where they were being nosy. Like sometimes it feels like they're hovering. They were more being helpful than anything else. And they were all very sweet. And I got really good samples from my insider points. So I will show you that when I get home. We're gonna head home now because I don't want my Amaret snacks to melt. Just got home. Oh, I forgot to do it again. Word to the wise. So I didn't find it necessary to keep a face mask. I can take this off. I don't know why I'm still talking. I didn't find it necessary to keep a face mask in the car because I was so good about putting it on before I left the house because we took, you know, those little safety hooks. Um, we took them and we put them here on this little light switch here that we never ever use. And so we just hang them here. So it's like you grab it and you go. And typically if I'm going out, I've like picked out which pattern face mask that I want to use. Face covering, face covering, face covering, face covering. So this morning, before I get into my haul, I need to tell you about my day because I actually haven't told you about my day at all. So this morning I had to drop Jared off at the rental car place. 
um, at like eight in the morning because he wanted to be there when it opened to get the car. And so we got there and mind you, there was um, the rental car place by the B Hotel. It's literally got like a giant B. There, we went to Enterprise. There's Enterprise places all over the place, um, but that was the one that he selected that he wanted to um, get his car from. And it said to him in the confirmation that if he had to pick up his car in another location because they were closed, that they would call him, they would notify him. So we get up, we get there at eight. Mind you, this morning it was pouring rain. We haven't had a raining morning in forever and it was pouring rain this morning. So we get everything that he needs, you know, double checks everything, get it in the cruiser, and then we go. And um, we get there and I'm like sit, sit in the car waiting for him to go and like check in and stuff like that because he was like, you don't have to get dressed. I was like literally in PJs, like you don't have to get out of the car, whatever. So he runs out and lo and behold, he go, like the place is not open. The hotel's open, but the Enterprise rental car place is not open. And so he checked at the front desk and they said to go to the Disney car care, which is fine, we know where that is. It's just on the other side of property. And so we drive all the way over there. It's also not easy to get to because of Magic Kingdom. If you've been in that area, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so we get there and we go inside, or he goes inside, and it's an Enterprise slash Alamo, I guess. And I'm sitting there in the car just waiting, take two. And he comes back in frustrated. And Jared frustrated is like worse than me frustrated. Um, he, apparently they did not tell him that he needed like, um, like a, a bill or a paycheck or like renter's insurance or like something. Like he needed two copies of that. Like basically he needed like a pay stub and like renter's insurance or his rent and statement or something like that. And, um, unfortunately he did not have it. He had major issues trying to access his pay stub on his phone. Um, and... Uh, his, like, our stuff is in my name, pr pretty much, and, because I was the one that set it all up, and so we didn't have anything in there. Luckily, though, because we are married, it could be under my name. An hour later, he was in a car and driving up to Tennessee for the wedding. So, after all of that, being, I was, like, wide awake, because this morning, I did, I did not sleep well last night, and so I was like, I'm gonna go to Starbucks, or I'm, like, gonna go back to bed, as soon as I get home. Long story short, I came home and just completely cleaned the apartment. And after that, I was like, I want to go to Disney Springs after lunch. I also got my Jedi outfit arrived today and I laid it out in the bed and I'm like losing my mind at how cool it is. Like I pieced it together. It's pretty much a Disney bound Jedi, my version of what I would be as a Jedi outfit. And I can't wait to share that with you guys in another video. But without further ado, Let's do this epic haul. I did not plan on spending this much money. This is what happens when Jared leaves and makes me like get up. Like I didn't even bother to put makeup on. I was just like, I'm going shopping. I'm doing something for me. So here is my haul. Okay, first I'm going to show you um, what I got from Amorex because it needs to go in the fridge. So I've been craving macaroons for a while now. I actually kept forgetting to pick them up. Um, so I got the typical um, chocolate, caramel, pistachio, uh, I think one is like coffee or espresso, and I can't remember what the other one is. These are my favorites. Absolutely love having these with my tea in the morning. And I wasn't going to get this, but I saw this and decided to get it anyway. So I typically only get these little petite cakes for like special occasions. Um, but I feel like I deserve this because I've been an awesome cast member the last couple weeks, being very yes man, ma'am to all of my manager's requests and being flexible with my schedule and this, that, and the other thing with little to no complaints. Um, and so I decided to get this little summer cake. It's themed for summer, but it's actually one of my favorite flavors. It's chocolate. It's like a, it's like a chocolate cake. Uh, it's got chocolate mousse and like coffee something in it. And it just sounded amazing. It's called like coffee time. I, this is just the treat for me. So I'm going to put these in the fridge real quick. Um, so I got these. I absolutely love these cleansing wipes from Sephora. They're not necessarily makeup wipes. Um, they're just literally a cleansing wipe. 
I also have been using these not just for my face, but like for my hands as well when I don't have hand sanitizer around. Um, my two samples that I got, I'm really, excuse me, really excited about. I got the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion that everybody uses. I actually really like my Too Faced um, uh, eye primer, eyeshadow primer, um, but this one's like super popular and everybody has one. The other sample I got is the Tarte Skin Care Knockout Tingling Treatment. She said it was really good for, um, it says uh, really good for rebalancing your pH and also helps, it's an exfoliator, she also said, she said it's also good for um, acne, which something that the lifeguards and I have been discussing now that we're a couple weeks in is face mask acne is totally a thing. I have been struggling between moisturizing my skin from my mask rubbing up against my skin and like kind of rubbing it, not raw, but like making it like dry and moisturizing it to like not wanting to moisturize it because then I super sweat and then the sweat gets on the mask and that gets back on the skin and so it causes more acne. So it's been like, it's been a battle. At least I can rely on the top part of my skin. I got more of this. This is something that I got out of my FabFitFun box but I actually really like. It's the Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost in like a sample before and I still really liked it. Um, I just love Tarte products. Can I just say I absolutely love Tarte products. Like, so there's that. I'm actually gonna put that back in there so I can put that away. So while I was waiting to go into the Market Co, which we realized was kind of like a fail, um, I went to the pin trading store just to see what they had. And I finally got, if I have this already, I'm gonna beat myself over the head. But I finally got the limited edition 30th anniversary Little Mermaid Magic Band. I don't need this. I have so many magic band as is, magic bands as is, and there's so many new colors that I really, really want, but I keep telling myself I don't need any more, I don't need any more, I don't need any more. This Little Mermaid, you guys know, Little Mermaid is my absolute favorite, and this came out the year I was born. Literally two weeks before I was born, Little Mermaid came out. So the fact that there's a special limited edition 30th anniversary, it even says 30th right there. Like, this is like very special to me. Because we were gonna go flying on this trip, and we needed new computer backpacks. Um, we got like, they're like matching backpacks. His is green, mine's pink. And they're really plain. And I thought, I was like, you know what, Jerry, what would be cool is we can put like patches on them. And we can like decorate them however we want. So like, they're similar, but they're very different and they fit our personalities. So I actually looked for at the patches that Disney has and I could not find like any that I really wanted to get. And I know that I've seen some before, but they had such a small selection. So I don't know if they're just not like doing well and so they're trying to phase them out. They did have new ones that I'd never seen before. So I don't know if that's the case or not. But like I was really kind of disappointed with their selection. So that said, I went to the pin trading station because I needed to get um, more backs for pins. Anyway, because I have some pins I need to put on more backpacks. And I got, if I already have this, then I have two now. Um, I got a Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa pin because that was the first resort I've ever worked in. And then look how cool this Wilderness Lodge pin is. It's literally a patch. It's like stitched in there. How cool is this? Like, it's very simple compared to the Fort Wilderness Campground one, but the fact that it's textured is so cool. So I got that, I'm gonna put those two on my backpack. And then I also got a Black Spire Outpost one. I don't think I have one of these yet, um, but I wanted to get it just because it's really cool. It's got the Millennium Falcon on it. I don't know what it has written on the bottom. I'm gonna have to decode that in Arabish, but I thought that was really cool as well. And I did get two. Um, two of these because I think I actually have enough pins to go through one. Then I went to Bazin because after going to Market Co. I was so frustrated that I wanted to go wash my hands and de-stress. But I actually did need more on um, the tea tree soap that I used for my actual face for acne. Um, I was running low on it so I needed to get some more of that. And then I wanted to get from, because my skin has been getting sun. Are you leaking? My son has been getting skin. Oh my gosh. My skin has been getting sunburn a lot lately with me doing poolside activities so much so often. And so I wanted to get like a bath oil to help moisturize my skin. I do have some leftover from Bath and Body Works, but I don't want to use all of it because it's peppermint. And I love peppermint. So I got the Sake Soap Therapy Scent. 
which smells really good. It's the only scent that they had that I was like, I really loved. Um, and it's got cottonseed oil, witch hazel, raspberry seed oil, um, jojoba oil, I think that's what you call that. Um, so you put this in a bath, you shake it up and you put it in your bath. Um, and it also looks really cool. Like, look at that. Ooh. So I saw this, I saw some people with this and I was like, oh my gosh, they have another one. Of course they have another one. And then I got closer to it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's actually really cute. And I thought that it moved and walked around and talked or whatever, and it didn't. But I was like, that's okay. And I was like, just looking at it and I was like, oh, this is so cute. But when I picked up its little hand and my pinky fit in it, I was like hooked. It's like when a puppy like gives you a kiss and licks your hand or like a baby just coos and smiles at you. So I have a buddy that's going to come with me <laughs> to Galaxy's Edge. So some people may find him a little creepy because his eyes are kind of like staring into your soul. But look how freaking adorable. Like he looks like he's like, oh, I want you to grab it. I should get him like a little ball to hold. But look how cute he is. Look how sweet. So I'm going to bring him with me to Galaxy's Edge and we're just going to have a good old time, aren't we? Jared doesn't know that I bought any of this stuff, by the way, so. So Kiki, what do you think of Baby Yoda? You know, Kiki, in Mandalorian, he goes up to a loth cat. And it doesn't like him very much. What do you think? Like, get this thing away from me. I want to pet your face. <laughs> yeah, these are the last couple things I got from Disney. Um, So I've been looking at these leggings for a very long time. And I'd like to point out, not that I need an excuse to go shopping. Um, One of the main reasons why I did get so much Disney stuff is because there is a 50% cast member discount until the end of the month. And that is more than we typically get. Like, our holiday discount is like 40%. And I typically end up getting this for like Christmas presents and stuff. But these leggings I have been looking at for a very long time. So I really wanted the Haunted Mansion ones for like to wear around Halloween. These are gonna go straight into the Halloween container. But I, they're super soft. I will say some of the Disney leggings, like the Run Disney ones, which really upsets me. It's like the Run Disney ones, if you stretch it, it like has white in it. And that upsets me so much. But these I actually ended up getting a little big, both of these, because I want them to kind of be lounge pants, not like super tight leggings. So I got the Haunted Mansion ones, which I'm very excited about. And then of course, I had to get Frozen. I've wanted these since I saw them. What's cool about these is, let's see, do you see it? Yeah, you can see it on this side. Um, there's little gems on it and I just thought these were so cute and then the last thing that I got which was actually the first thing that I got is I got some more face masks mostly because um, I realized that I don't really have a whole lot of good ones because now that I've gotten used to the one the one that I wear at work the ones that I've sewed in my opinion don't have like a much of a, fil a filter so I went to Vera Bradley and I also needed some more generic ones because I discovered that the face masks that I have from Vera Bradley are like bright colored and they don't really go with everything. So I got a like a gray pattern one that has like little flowers on it. And then I got a white one with little pink flowers on it. So these kind of like will go with a lot of stuff, um, mostly because I wear pinks a lot. And then this one I got for Jared or I. This is actually going to be the one I'm going to wear at a Galaxy's Edge because I'm extra and everything has to match. I also got more filters because I feel like we need more. So that is everything. I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, stay tuned to more vlogs coming up. Anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to wear your mask.